got entertainment news coming up for you in just a few. I'm just giving y'all a chance to check in, okay? I got some goodness, too. I've been digging, and I done found some good gossip for you. So, we're going to get started in just a few. I like this song right here. Puff Daddy and the Family. It's really, it's really Ty Dolla Sign just killing it. He could have just gave Ty Dolla Sign this song. Okay, y'all about ready? Hey, Robert Johnson. And everybody else that joined in. Okay, first things first, let's talk about this Kanye, Amber Rose, Wiz Khalifa beef that went down on social media yesterday. The way that it all started was um, your boy Kanye said that he was going to change the name of his album from Swish to Waves. Wiz Khalifa was like, come on, man, don't don't take a wave. That's Max B's joint. That He's the wavy one. He created the wave. There's no wave without him. So Kanye was like, all respect, you know, Max B, hashtag waves. But Wiz didn't find that cool enough. He was like, yeah, I'm a wavy baby for sure. I'm not having it. That's the wave. But there's nothing with that sound. It's not wavy. Kanye, leave it alone. And Kanye got wind of it and just went completely in, okay? He was like, bro. First of all, you stole your whole ish from Kid Cudi. Second, your first single was corny, and most of your singles thereafter. You have distracted my creative process. Third, no one I know has ever listened to one of your albums all the way through. And then Kanye went in on Wiz, um, on Wiz's ex, Amber Rose, by saying, fourth, you let a scripper trap you. Fifth, I know you mad every time you look at your, at your child that this girl got you for 18 years for. Six, don't ever come out the side of your neck at me. Seven, I'm your OG, and I will be respected respected as such <laughs> eight i made it so that we could wear tight jeans <laughs> kanye's a jerk ninth me and cuddy created this tenth don't you ever come out your life speaking sideways about me again i do this for everybody and amber rose ended the whole conversation you got to give it to amber because she was like oh kanye are you mad i'm not around to play in your boop hole anymore <laughs> fingers in the booty and then she went on uh, laugh out loud, Kanye West. Now you want to delete your tweets because Muva has arrived. Twitter fingers, you're getting body by a stripper, Ninja. Yes, Amber. Thank you very much for stepping in. Now, there's an adult film star by the name of uh, Lisa Ann. She wasn't happy about Kanye's comments either. As a matter of fact, she threatened to release nude photos of Kanye that she said Kanye was sending her. So all strippers can rejoice. This is getting super messy. messy. If she does um, post them, you know I'm going to let you know about it, right? Yeah, of course. So Rick Ross is going through baby mama drama with Tia Kemp. She wants more child support. She said these are the reasonings why. The father does not exercise consistent time sharing, meaning that he don't spend no time with the baby. He often promises the child that he'll see him and then fails to follow through, meaning I'm going to come pick you up at four and then never show up for like four weeks. <laughs> um, uh, he often promises... Um, Oh, the child is experiencing difficulties in processing the father's behavior, so he's in need of professional assistance, a.k.a. you done got my child messed up, now I got to put him in therapy. So Kemp added that the boy is bright, he's great in sports, but he needs services like tutoring and therapy and summer camp, and she can't afford to pay that, so she wants Rick Ross to pay up. Rihanna, she released Anti. I didn't understand. I thought she was trying to pull a Beyonce and kind of release it and not say nothing. Supposedly what happened is Tidal made a huge mistake and released it accidentally way before it was scheduled to be released, which forced her to release it because once they put it up, they tried to delete it, but her fans were already downloading it. You see what I'm saying? So once it's out there, you got to put it out there. She's not going to get the credit for it if she tries to re-release it some months down the line. So she had to release it properly afterwards. But supposedly she's getting good reviews. It's a 13-track album. It features Drake, um... SZA, who I like, The Weeknd, Travis Scott, The Dream, Party Next Door, Timbaland is on the production, Hit Boy, DJ Mustard. Uh, her songs, 4 or 5 Seconds and uh, Better Have My Money, aren't on there, but fans are not complaining. They said the album's dope. 
I gotta uh, take a listen and let you know what's going down. 2 Chains released a surprise mixtape. It's called Felt Like Capping. It's a six song project and it features Timberland, Mike Will Made It, and Zaytoven with a guest appearance from Lil Wayne. And he's also gonna drop his new album, College Grove, with Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. It's set to drop later this year. Now keep it locked. We're gonna pay the bills, but I'm coming back at 150 with that second half of entertainment news. Stevie J is talking on that little menage that went down with him and Joe Celine and Mimi. And he said it was way more to the story than what Mimi was saying. And I'm gonna tell you what he said. You keep it locked. DJ Jelly is up next in the mix, y'all. It's Thursday. Turn your radios up. It's Foxy. Make sure you join me at 150. I'll let you know what went down. Peace. <laughs>